So a long time ago, people, like a long, long time ago, back in the olden days, like before electricity, before all these big buildings, I'm talking super, super long ago, people spent a lot of time outdoors. There's no sitting on your couch, playing with your tablet or watching TV, being on your computer online. No, people spent a lot of time outdoors. And there also wasn't tons of large buildings everywhere blocking kind of the sky. You could almost always see where the the horizon, where the sky and the and the earth seemed to touch each other. Well, they noticed something because they looked at the sky a lot. They noticed that the sun did not always rise in the same place. From a certain day in the winter, the sun would rise a little bit to the north and a little bit more to the north and a little further to the north and so on and so forth. Until there came a day in the summertime when the sun started to return across the sky to where it had risen in the winter. Well, they gave a name to this turning point in the sun's journey. They gave it the name solstice. That comes from two Latin words, meaning sol. Two, that comes from two Latin words, sol meaning sun, and sistre, which means to stand. It was as if the sun had stood still before it started to return from where it had come from. Well, they noticed that there was two solstices, one in the summer and one in the winter. And so they called them the winter solstice and the summer solstice. They noticed something else as well. They noticed that starting with the winter solstice, the days started getting a little bit longer and a little bit longer, and the night got a little bit shorter and a little bit shorter until the summer solstice happened, which is the longest day of the year. After the summer solstice, the days started getting a little bit shorter and the nights a little bit longer until the winter solstice, which was the shortest day and the longest night of the year. And you know what? It's still like that today. We have our longest day and our shortest night in the summertime. Remember how long the days are when you can go out of the house after eating dinner with the family and it's still light outside afterwards and you can play some more? Or maybe you can... So you can go out and play more before you have to get into bed. But then in the wintertime, some of our days are so short that it's still dark in the morning when we get to school. Sometimes it's dark when we leave school. Well, why is it like that? Why do we have days? Why do we have long days part of the year with short nights? And other times of the year, we have long nights and short days. Okay, so after listening to our story, we're going to ask ourselves, why do we have some days that are longer? Some days that are shorter, some nights that are longer, some nights that are shorter. Well, I'm going to show you why. I have a foam sphere and I'm going to show you what happens. The earth does not spin around itself like this. The earth spins around itself like this. It tilts. So if the earth did spin like this at a 90 degree angle, our days and nights would be equal when we would go around the sun, okay? But when it's tilted, you can see up here, and when it's here, they're getting a lot of light up there, aren't they? They're not getting as much light down here. So I'm gonna use this little thumbtack can't really see that, but I'm going to use this thumbtack to mark roughly where we are here, just outside of St. Louis, maybe not that high, maybe there. So when we look here, are we in the shadow or the light? Right now we're in the shadow. The earth spins and we're in our nighttime. And then right about here, we come into the light. You see the tip of the thumbtack right there? We come into the light and we're in daytime. And then we're in nighttime, and we're spinning, and then we're in daytime, okay? I want you to watch this same spot on the thumbtack, but when I'm over here. So we're in the night, and then 
day, still day, still day, and night, 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 still day, still day, still day, and night. When we were over here, we're in the daytime for much longer because we're tilted towards the sun, okay? But when we're over here, we're actually tilted up away from the sun. So we have shorter days and longer nights here. And here, we're tilted towards the sun. We have more time in the glorious sun spinning this way, okay? So it takes one year, as we know, for the Earth to go around the sun. So when the Earth is here, and I know that's kind of hard to see because of our we're on film and we're not in class, but when the Earth is on this side of the sun, we find that the days and nights are just about the same. Okay, when we're right here, just about the same. But the Earth doesn't ever stay in one place going around the sun. It's always orbiting. Now when we get here, we find that we have our shortest day and our longest night. After this day, we continue to go around. Our days get a little bit longer and a little bit longer and our nights shorter until we're here, right in front of the sun. Right now you can't, can't see the sun, right? Here, our day and night is just about the same. We're still turning and rotating. We're still revolving around the sun. And when we get to here, we see that we have our longest day and our shortest night. So when we are tilted towards the sun, we have longer days. When we're tilted away from the sun, we have longer nights. And when right here, we're not really tilted towards or away from the sun, are we? Same with here. We're just kind of, you know, we're just tilted that way. So we're just kind of chilling in here and here, but there are positions where we have longer days and shorter nights and longer nights and shorter days. Okay, so the tilt of the axis is going to determine the length of day just depending where we are in our revolution around the sun in that given year. Okay, next week, we are going to talk about the specific positions. These four specific positions. One, two, three, four. We're gonna talk about that next week when we do seasons in two tropics, okay? All right, guys, thanks, I'll see you later.